Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be so fun to review the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collab. Now this came out a while ago and I actually picked mine up in the relaunch which happened May 13th I believe. I'm looking at the email from the relaunch and I can't remember the initial launch date but it's so crazy how fast things in makeup change. We are in August now, the end of August almost and I have like long forgotten about this collaboration. It's just so crazy to think of how fast time goes by in the makeup world to the point where you're like, oh, like that collab. So it is relaunching and I just thought, you know, before the relaunch, I was gonna swatch the two lippies and the highlighter for you guys in case you were wondering if you have a skin tone like mine, whether this collab would work on your skin tone. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so before we talk about the collab, I guess I should talk a little bit about Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. Manny MUA, I think, came first. I have been watching him for quite a while, but I think as his popularity has grown. He's definitely changed a lot. He's definitely one of those like bigger YouTubers that I don't even know how to explain it. Personally, I don't really care to get into it. I guess his aesthetic has changed so much from when he started and he seems to kind of be in that like Jeffree Star, Laura Lee group. I remember when Manny first started on YouTube, he would constantly talk about Jacqueline Hill and Marlena from Makeup Geek. They seemed like they were really good friends because I remember, I think, if memory serves me right that she like helped him get like some of his makeup like stuff and like his camera stuff for his channel so I just think it's so interesting that he's like so consumed by Jeffrey now so that's kind of my opinion on Manny I don't really watch him very often and I just feel like those three in general like all their content they like review the same things they talk about the same things so it's really strange how that relationship is kind of forged, you know, negative or positive. Like, I just don't care to get into it because everyone's going to have a different opinion on it. As far as Jeffree Star goes, I was definitely a bigger fan of him. When he first started, he wasn't as big as he is now. And I just really like his liquid lipstick. So I just want to show you guys. I have definitely supported his brand. So I have a lot of his liquid lipsticks. I'm trying to grab them here for you guys. Oops. <laughs> I think the formula is really good. I like a lot of his nude shades because they work really well with my skin tone. And sometimes with my tan complexion, it's harder for me to find liquid lipsticks that work with my skin tone because a lot of them are like really really pink based and I prefer my nudes to be warmer and more of a brown base so anyway really interesting I got a lot of his liquid lipsticks I did buy the beauty killer palette when it first came out I did sell it because I didn't think the pigmentation on those eyeshadows was very good and then I also own one of his skin frosts this is in the shade King Tut, and I used to wear this all the time when I first got it, but I really don't reach for it as much anymore. So anyway, that's kind of my background with the whole situation. I, I just don't watch him as much as I used to. I do like that some of his reviews, he does get a lot of products like right away just because of his influence. So I do think he is pretty honest with his reviews just because he doesn't really have a lot to gain maybe from brands, but I don't know if it's all like PR and made up and we're all being suckered into this huge lie or whatever yeah take it for what you will I do own the collection it came out in May they're relaunching in September so I just wanted to kind of show you guys the shades on me and give you my opinions on it and let you know if it was worth it or not. Let's quickly start off by looking at the packaging. This is one of the reasons I actually bought this collab. It was so bad. I managed to say no the first time and it launched and it sold out and I was like, nope, I don't need it. I don't need any of his highlighters. I just don't like the consistency of them. They're too pigmented. They're very chunky. So I like convinced myself I didn't need it. I wasn't sure what the shades would look like, the lipstick shades would look like on my skin tone so I was like nope don't need it so then the people that got it the first time I saw so many positive reviews and then I was like fuck you know it was sold out I wanted it so badly so of course I hopped right on it 
the next time it came out so it comes with this beautiful sleeve and then this is the packaging and it's like magnetized right here and then it opens up like this and this is the box for the skin frost and the two lippies and they did like black shiny packaging on the inside I can't remember like if they sold a bundle anywhere other than Jeffrey's website I feel like I remember that the bundle was only available on Jeffrey's website and this was a good deal because you basically got like a lipstick for almost for free I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure so the bundle was $50 and shipping was $5.95 so the total was $55.95 and I ordered on May 13th and my package was delivered by USPS on May 17th of 2017 so that was pretty quick it was a couple of days before I received this and so I thought all of that was no problem for me again really nice packaging I've never seen like individual items that then came in like this really nice packaging it almost made you feel like it was a little bit of PR and stuff like that now in the meantime of course between Jeffrey and Manny they can't seem to get away from controversy so I know there is like a lawsuit involved because there is a indie brand called Black Moon Cosmetics I believe and somehow their logo on this box ended up looking a lot like the Black Moon logo. If I can find images I will insert it into this video and since I heard the lawsuit was settled out of court the product did launch and now in the second launch you'll actually see they changed the logo which I didn't even realize that until I saw the video but here for the tea if you haven't watched her YouTube channel it's pretty controversial she's got a lot of like guru gossip and stuff which I always take with a grain of salt but I just thought I didn't even realize they had changed the logo so they put a ring around the moon and they like changed it so it looks a lot different I feel pretty lucky that I have the original packaging because I actually like this logo better I feel like it's a better representation of Manny because he always has like that half moon eclipse moon type deal and then the Jeffree Star logo so that is what the box packaging looked like and then this is the highlighter packaging so this says Jeffree Star Cosmetics and then on the back it says Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the shade Eclipse and this was made in the USA and contains 0.53 ounces which I believe is more than a regular highlighter so Jeffree Star highlighters are usually quite a bit bigger than regular highlighters so this is the Jeffree Star packaging which again contains 0.53 ounces and this is MAC O Darling which contains 0.31 ounces so there's about 20 more ounces in this which is crazy but that is what the skin frost looks like so you're getting not double but quite a bit more with the becca highlights this has 0.28 ounces of product and again the jeffree star one has 0.53 so that's quite a bit more product again the logo was in here cool packaging very different from you know jeffree's like everything is barbie for him so it's you know you can definitely see that they did keep like Manny in mind and kind of incorporate in a more masculine vibe which is very different for Jeffree Star so I'm gonna stop blabbering and put some of this on for you guys I'm gonna dust some off because I know this skin frost is gonna be super highlighty and I did have Becca Rose Gold on earlier but I feel like it's faded enough so I'm just gonna swatch this for you guys and honestly I thought this shade would be really beautiful on my skin and it has like a golden peach like look in the pan but I actually have not been reaching for this highlighter at all and I don't know why I just don't love it and honestly it's almost like not as pigmented as his other highlighters but I just this color is just not my favorite and so I really just don't find myself reaching for this highlighter at all and I just don't think it suits my skin tone so if you guys think it does definitely let me know in the comments I'd be interested in hearing it but I just never felt like this worked for me so I just never reach for it and I only have one other one but I just let me swatch King Tut for you. I just feel a genuine difference in the formulas. And you see that? Like this is one swipe of both of these. And King Tut is so, so pigmented. And I, I know I said like King Tut is almost like too pigmented. But 
It's like if you know a certain formula, then when it changes, you can tell the difference, you know? And for some reason, I just, King Tut, the color suits me better. I feel like if you are of darker skin tone and you like the more golden highlights, you definitely don't want this color. It's just not as flattering for my skin tone. And I don't want to say like everyone with darker skin, it wouldn't be flattering. But personally, for me, it's just not flattering. So I really don't reach for it. So now I'm going to swatch the liquid lipsticks for you guys. So this is the first liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Daddy. And this contains 0.19 fluid ounces of product. Again, made in the USA. Looks exactly like all of his other liquid lipsticks, except they did black packaging instead of the regular pink packaging. So let me swatch this for you guys. It's definitely like a grayish color, but when it dries, it dries so dark on my lips. Let me just show you guys. So this is what the shade looks like on me. And I feel like on lighter skin tones, this color probably stand out a little bit more. But on my lips, it almost looks like concealer lips for my skin tone because I am so much tanner. But it's not a horrible color. I don't hate it. I just wish it was a little bit warmer because for me, I just, uh, I feel like it's a little too cool tone. For my taste i do like his liquid lipstick formula i think it's very very comfortable for me i'm gonna swatch some of my favorite nudes from his line this is the shade leo like to me like these warm nudes are like my favorite thing so do you see like it's quite a bit different from what i'm usually used to here is another shade celebrity skin this one I don't really wear very often. I feel like it's a little bit light on my skin tone because I hate like those really, really light colors. But I don't know. These are kind of the nudes I'm into from Jeffree Star. But it doesn't look horrible on me. Like I said, see, it like darkens up when, once it dries down. So definitely keep that in mind as well. Okay, so I'm going to try out this shade next. This is the shade I'm Shook. And again, with this color, I really just wasn't sure what to expect because I couldn't tell if it was a red, if it was a berry, like I couldn't tell what kind of shade it was going to be on my skin tone, if it was going to be like a brick color, like I just didn't know what to expect from it. So there it is on my hand, here it is on my lips, and this is what it looks like in the tube. And I don't know that I have a lot of reds from Jeffree, I'm just trying to take a peek here. Collection from him is a mess right now. Orange shade, this is called Checkmate. So definitely a lot cooler than Checkmate. I think Manny kind of did more cool tones. This is definitely more muted. So it's really an interesting color. This is the shade Designer Blood, which was again from the holiday collection, but this is like a more, what would you even say, like burgundy wine shade. So they're all three very different um, shades. And so I just didn't know what to expect from Jeffree Star when he did the collab with Manny. So. Overall, like I've said a bunch of times, I really like his liquid lipstick formula. So if you're interested in picking up the liquid lips, I would definitely say they are very comparable to what's on the market. They retail for $18 if you were not going to get the bundle. But if you think you're going to want the skin frost and the lipstick, you might as well just get the bundle because overall you pay less. So I just wanted to make this video so you guys could see it swatch on like my skin tone. That's always important, I feel like, because when you're buying this stuff online, you can't really return it. You can't really try it out and send it back. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to share with you guys about the Manny and Jeffree Star bundle. Let me know if you are planning on picking this up in the relaunch. I'd be really curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think of both of those YouTubers in the comments as well. Care? Do you not care? Are you pretty indifferent? I know a lot of people love them both dearly. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions. Also guys, if you didn't know, I upload every other day, so don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.